It's the 10th week of the scheduled 105-day session. Give us an update on the progress of the 2017 session. It's been an interesting session so far. We're a little bit past halfway now, and uh, it's nice to get this far. It's not been easy. Lots of bills, 1,100 bills got put into the House hopper and 376 passed, which meant those will go over to the Senate. Only a small percentage of those will make it to the very end and hit the governor's desk. So it's been quite a process, and of course it's pretty much overshadowed by the budget and the McCleary decision and how we're going to fund K-12 education. Well, give us an update on that. What's the latest on the education funding issue? It's very interesting. The uh, House Democrats passed a bill off the floor that determines how the education system is going to be funded, but they did not put any funding with the package. Otherwise, they're going to have to pass taxes in order to, to fund it. And it's about a $6 billion price tag. Meanwhile, the Senate has come out with a bill that's a bit different. It relies on the levy swap, levy exchange, and uh, it's probably short $500, $600 million, uh, but they're working on trying to close that gap. Our House Republicans have come out with a third program that's not been publicized yet for good reasons. We want to be able to work with both of those sides, the Democrats and the Senate, and we think we've got some good positions in, in our proposal that's kind of a compromise between the two. And uh, I think it's going to get some real legs before it's over. Otherwise, I think it's going to become pretty important by the time we get to the final decision on the budget. You had several bills that passed out of the House. Two of those would make some significant changes to the state's Public Records Act. Can you briefly tell us about those? Well, yes, there's been a real problem recently with the public records, which means that any citizen can ask for a public record from a government, whether it's a local agency or a large agency. And in the last few years with the advent of the electronic technology, they can ask for all the records that the agency has with one push of the button and not have to pay a cent. So I've got a bill that says you've got to at least pay a reasonable charge, and we think that will cut back on some of the real vexatious requesters that are just in it for damaging or vindictive reasons against the, the agency. There's a second bill with that that helps fund, to a certain extent, the local agencies to get them up to speed so they have more records available more quickly. So we're trying to help both sides come to the middle and keep our transparency but get rid of, hopefully, the folks that just are using it for vindictive reasons. You and Representative Bill Jenkin recently held a telephone town hall. How did that go? Well, it went very well. We heard from the folks back home. That's always enjoyable and heard the issues that is on their minds. And sometimes we get so focused over here on issues that it's nice to be reminded on what is really important back home. And we try to pay attention to that very carefully. So it went well and uh, we will take all that information and consider it and move on.